Hey guys, today I'm going to go over the usage of components. Now components, just like plugins and modules, are extensions used in Joomla. They can be pretty standalone, and they can really alter the way your website functions or looks. Usually, it's used to add or enhance content. So, I'm going to go through here, download a new component, install it, enable it, and then link it to my menu and show you how that's all done. Okay, so I'm logged into Joomla. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to extensions.joomla.org. And I searched out a component called alpha content because I know that's the one I want to use. So alpha content basically alters the way your article listings look. It kind of makes it more organized and I kind of like it. So let's go ahead and download it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here and click download. And usually on extensions.joomla.org, you're brought to their website to actually download it depending on how it goes through. But we just gotta go ahead and click alpha content again and then click download and we will be able to download it. Okay, now that it is downloaded, I'm gonna go back to my dashboard here and go to my extensions and then install uninstall I'm gonna go ahead and browse for the extension I just downloaded which is right here go ahead and open that and upload file and install and then this will go ahead and install okay now when you go to your components tab you will now see the new component you downloaded right there it's located right there when you click on it you can go in and you can change settings and of course the settings will vary depending on what the component is most of the time you can use the component more than the once too and that would make sense with this component since it changes the way articles look you can apply it to different menu options so with those menu options you can change the settings for each different menu option through the menu and I kind of showed how to do that in a few tutorials back but I'll cover it briefly here again so anyway there is that let's go ahead now and apply this component to our website and see how it looks so I'm gonna go to my menu tab and then go to my main menu and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the news menu item and redirect it to the component. So I'm going to click on news and I'm going to go ahead now and change the type of my menu item. And it'll bring us back to this page if you remember seeing my menu tutorial. And now there will be a new option though called alpha content. So if we click that, we can go to directory layout located right here. And now we are gonna be directing our menu item to alpha content. But before we do that, we need to define some things in this menu as well. For instance, as of right now, this menu item is gonna display every single article. It doesn't matter what section or category. Well, you can define the section or category right here though. So, you can filter things out. So for instance, since I am on the news menu item, I'm probably gonna only want articles in my news section to show up. So we need to figure out what the ID of that news section is. So let's go ahead and save this for right now. And then let's go to our content section manager. And we'll see that the ID is number two located in this column right here. So we gotta put a two in that option. So let's go back to our main menu, click on news. So for section ID, we'll put two. And now there's a bunch of other stuff we can adjust here obviously. But I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that for right now. So we'll go ahead and hit save. Now let's go back to the website and see what that did. We applied it to news, so let's go ahead and click news. You'll see that the component has been applied. And just to clear this up, if we go to other news really quick, this is how it used to look. 
Now with the component in place, it's a bit more spiffy. We can even choose alphabetically through the articles. We can also go through here. And it also takes the images from the articles and places them as thumbnails. It puts new by them. You can vote on the articles. And of course, this is all adjustable through those options I was showing you. And that is one way you can use a component. And of course, as I said, there are several other components out there. But just to show you really quick, remember I told you you can adjust the component settings. Well, you can also do that through a menu by menu basis, menu item by menu item basis. If you come back here, you can see you can adjust all the stuff that you could adjust before in the main component. And again, that just all depends on if you use a component more than once and if you want it to look differently. Let's say if you apply this component to the animation videos directory. Maybe you don't want the alphabet index to be in there then. You can go ahead and just hide that and you, it'll look differently compared to your news directory. And so there you go. That's how you install a component, place it on a menu item, and then adjust it. I hope you guys found this helpful. I have more tutorials coming up and I'll see you guys then.